Hello everyone, my name is Josh. I'm an award-winning video editor and I'm celebrating the release this week of Taylor Swift's 1989 Taylor's version. So, uh, and I'm celebrating by doing a couple reactions of the, uh, you know, music videos from her original 1989 album. So, I'm starting that off with Shake It Off and let's get into it. Ugh, I gotta wake up. Okay. I gotta shake it off. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> we're switching different genres here. <laughs> um, I noticed the cat sweatshirt. That's freaking awesome. So obviously this looks like it's shot in a studio um, with all the super soft lights straight above. I will say uh, that the, the, the light straight above, like right above her head that's shining down is a little strong. Uh, Mainly, if you if you have a light that's that's going to be doing that at that strength, you kind of want to um, brighten up her face a little bit, in my opinion. I uh, I know that they're gonna they're trying to go for like the the two one lighting ratio and and all of that. At least that's what it looks like here. That's what they're trying to do. But um, yeah, I think brightening her face up just a little bit might be would probably have been nice. But um, I mean, overall, this is beautifully done you know with that that awesome almost like gradient background that's that's really impressive uh to do i, I don't know if they have a light shining up onto a, on the solid black black background or uh or if that's just in post but it looks it looks awesome it really does that's a lot of professional ballerinas <laughs> <laughs> but I can't oh, make that's stay. so cool. At least that's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, so obviously they hired like a bunch of professional, you know, dancers for this. <laughs> this is awesome because we have the the color scheme and what they're they're utilizing the colors uh to, you know, tell a story here. So like Right here at the first first scene, they have all white, and then uh, they're going to like a, a, a red tone uh, used through everything. So um, it's it looks like in the same studio, uh, but the ground is what's really impressive. Is it's just super polished. <laughs> Whenever uh, this is kind of the same concept uh, that you guys that that you would do on a completely green screen background, also like a green screen room, I should say, uh, to not dirty the ground up before the shot, you put on these little booties uh, around your your feet uh, that kind of keep the dirt off of the ground. So we can see here there is not a speck of dirt down here. And uh, yeah, yeah, whenever somebody walks out there to get in position or, you know, walks off or anything like that, first of all, they try to minimize that. And then second of all, they uh, they just put on these booties and then they'll they'll take it off uh, whenever they uh, they'll shake it off uh, whenever <laughs> whenever they get into position. Yeah, the, the style. Oh, look at that. Eighty nine on her shirt. <laughs> I'm picking up on these things now. <laughs> Okay, so something here uh, that I'm gonna kind of go back. The way she's dancing is completely different than the style of dancers that she's dancing with. Uh, she's doing obviously a carefree dance here, uh, but every all the other ballerinas are obviously doing ballet. So, uh, and I think that was the same case back here. Whenever, I mean, she's kind of doing like a. Uh, whoa, actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure that dance she's doing right here, that is actually, this is going to be, uh, I, I wish I was better at it, but uh, back in my high school days, I did do a little bit of break dancing. <laughs> and uh, this is actually like what she's doing here, this dance move. 
um, that's actually kind of like a preparation before you do, uh, you know, like a windmill or uh, just a general breakdance move. I wonder if she actually asked all of these guys, like, what, uh, what you do to, like, prep to go into a breakdance move. Because that's, that's, I mean, that's exactly what you're doing. Like, she, that's, that's down to a T almost. Like, she's getting ready to go on the ground and do a spin. So, huh. That's that's impressive. I just noticed that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that that's a lot of symbolism there. Like everybody else is doing the same thing, but she it doesn't care and she's going to do her own dance. So, a lot to say there. I like it. But I keep cruising. Can't stop, won't stop moving. It's like I got this music in my mind saying it's going to be all right. Cuz the players going to play, 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 play in the heart. Oh, nice. Ah, I wonder if the uh, the sheet over her head uh, resembles like a ghost or something. <laughs> I know there's something about ghosts uh, with her like most recent album, I think, or something. I don't know. I said ghost one time, and then everyone like in the comments like freaked out or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's there's so much going on. So it is the same exact environment throughout the whole thing. So if I were to guess, to make it the the easiest. Uh, you know, production wise, I would say that is just a black background. Uh, but there are still cases, there's different shots where I'm like, man, is that green screen? I don't know why they would make it a green screen if it's just going to be in the same environment the whole time. Um, cause really that, that, you know, kind of eliminates a lot of post-production error, I guess, if you were to just use a, a, a background with like maybe just a lot of lights down here shining up like it could be I guess the ground could be kind of separated from the background to give it that sharp edge uh, could be separated and you know have it continue down and that would also give you the opportunity to have lights all lined up down here shining up I don't know why but I'm a massive fan of this this kind this type of dancing like contemporary a uh, huge huge fan <laughs> my gosh, I'm a huge fan of this. So, uh, finger tutting, uh, that is very, very difficult. I wonder if I can like, you kind of do this and switch it around. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> finger, finger tutting is a whole different type of, of style, uh, that is extremely difficult to do. I also tried doing that at one point and, um, yeah, I, th I thought she, she's actually trying to do this. Uh, I go, I go better that, no, 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 that's, there you go. So she's actually trying to do something like that. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like she's actually like asking, or she could have just straight up learned, but it looks like she's actually digging into styles of dancing and actually like doing a technique. That's actually pretty cool. Um, now I do see like in the glasses, I'm trying to figure out, cause obviously, uh, for some reason that looks like Patrick Mahomes. Uh, <laughs> there you go, right there. Huh. Okay, so they have two massive lights that have a, uh, a diffusion in front of them, a diffusion panel. Uh, so usually you use panels whenever you are like in a studio and you just have like this massive area to light up. Uh, so you can have some pretty dang strong lights behind them, uh, whether it be one or two. It looks like just one massive one from what I can see. And then they also have a not very diffused, but uh, it looks like another light that's just right at the top there. Uh, that looks like a kind of like a panel light that's hanging from the ceiling. Um, and that could be to just kind of, you know, emphasize her. It, it's a pretty simple setup if you think about it. So. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, she has a snake on. Is that a snake around her uh, necklace there? Huh. Uh, that means something. Oh, that's so cool how they got like a full on like like band in here and doing that like this is I and I love the silhouette look that that they're doing here. So to achieve that silhouette look, you just have a really bright background uh, and pretty much just don't light any of them up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that's this is really, really cool. And uh, I love how they're incorporating the band, too. I wonder if that's like a. Uh, who those people are. I wonder if they actually like tour with her and like do do music with her and stuff. Um, that's really cool. So we can actually see here the difference in lighting, what I was talking about earlier. We see this light actually being a different Kelvin. She's a little bit warmer than everything else. So uh, that one hanging down light I was talking about earlier, that's probably what this is. Uh, and then everybody else is kind of lit with those two other uh, big diffused lights. Uh, I mean, you can still see it's like, a little bit brighter at the bottom and I don't know why they would do that if it was an all white background maybe to kind of show where the ground is um, which is a, a good way of doing that but you don't uh, whenever you shine light on a white background you always have to be very careful with blowing it out uh, because if it's in the background you still want it to be you know visible so um, that's that's a risky move in the production world <laughs> it's risky but they're they're pulling it off <laughs> Uh, they're just shaking it off. Nope, that was a dumb joke. So I did notice that there's a couple different camera angles that they're using. And so they obviously have a close up right here. So we, we are able to, and usually this kind of portrays uh, the emotion that the character has. And uh, so we want to have close ups at some point throughout this music video. Because if we were just further back the whole time, it, it wouldn't we wouldn't feel a connection with you know Taylor Swift doing these these moves and all of that so there's a reason why they have a close-up now they have the medium shot right here uh, where we can see things going on in the background but still we're we're emphasizing what she is doing we're concentrating on what she's doing so uh, we're at about a shoulder level I want to say so uh, that's usually an another way of you know characters communicating with each other it's usually at like some short sort of shoulder level <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, they're doing a wonderful job job with this music video. I'm a big fan. Good message too. Oh, cheerleader. Isn't there a song about her being the girl in the seats and she's the cheer captain? <laughs> is that what she is? She's the cheer captain right here? Yeah, because they all have TS on their, their uh, outfits. <laughs> God, I'm just gonna shake into the fella over there with the hella good hair. Won't you come on over, baby? We can shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Cause the players wanna play, 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 play. That's impressive. Oh. 
are these like they these people look like fans uh, i'm calling it these people are fans like they're they're swifties they're all swifties i bet <laughs> um which would be an insane experience to be in a music video especially this one she appreciates her fans so much and that is being shown throughout almost every music video like she just like uh, and i say almost every music video because she uses those easter eggs to really communicate like you know, a story and, and, uh, you know, something that her fans would pick up. All right. So real quick, going back, I am not a cheerleader by any means, but, uh, I have a couple cousins that do cheerleading and I had to help them practice by doing like those like stand things and, and all of that. And, uh, that's, that's difficult. Uh, I, they don't have her on a harness. So they, I think they actually, threw her up like that and are about to yeah i mean they're prepping to catch her i mean she she got tossed up there you know that's that's pretty high i mean even at this focal length like that that's that's impressive uh and then uh i don't think that this is the same shot i think this is obviously a different one i think that it, the background isn't the same so this actually obviously is in the air uh so i don't know if they she just got a trampoline and did it or uh or is just jumping but uh that's that's still impressive that's that's awesome Hey, camera movement. There you go. This is awesome. Oh yeah, that's a big room. That's a very big room. Uh, the fact that I, uh, that's just amazing. The message of this song is so freaking good. It's so good. Whole, no wonder why it has three and a half, almost three and a half billion views. Man, this is good. Um, such a simple music video, but the message is is really, really cool. And I love the fact that all of the professional dancers are now doing their own sort of way of shaking it off and, you know, and dancing in their own way and their own style because everyone has their own style, you know, and it's and they're they're showing it right here and it is just really really awesome to see that yeah that's awesome That was such a good music video. I loved it. All right, everyone, that was my reaction to Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. Uh, 10 out of 10. I, I love the song, uh, love the meaning. The music video was, was such a simple setup. You don't need to have a massive, massive production to create a good music video. Like you just need, you need a good story, a good message. Uh, and creativity, you know, is just having fun with it. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest ones. You can tell that Taylor Swift had a blast filming this. Taylor Swift, two thumbs up, that was amazing. And, uh, you know, 1989 Taylor's version is coming out and I'm excited to uh, kind of hear all of that because this is what most of them will be the first time I'm ever hearing it. So I may do something with that, I don't know. But um, hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and I appreciate it. Bye. Shake it off, shake it off